What is up, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a quick pop-up message for you. So if you chose to click on this video, if the reading called to you, the title called to you, this message is for you. But this is a timeless message. Let's take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. So first thing I'm getting is that you're about to get your shot or you're about to get another shot. This feels like a big deal, okay? I'm getting that something about you breaking into an industry or you breaking into the industry and I just heard a car horn honk which is confirmation of that. You're about to get your shot. I saw the star card and the devil card. So I feel like you're being, given an, you're being given an opportunity to shine or you're being given an opportunity to have a stage or to have a platform or something like that, okay? But I'm getting that it's your shot. You're getting a shot, okay? I'm hearing we need people like you or we need you. That's what I'm getting, okay? There's something about this full moon lunar eclipse that's coming up. There's like this un this self-belief. You like undoubtedly believe in yourself now or you're being guided to just believe in yourself so much. Okay, because you're getting the shot. And I'm getting that you're getting the shot because God believes in you or the universe believes in you or you believe in yourself. Let's see what comes out though here in the cards. I'm getting that your energy is famous. Whether you're like popular, well-known or not, your energy is famous. People feel like they know you or they can relate to you. Okay, we're seeing bring love into the situation. You could be an Aquarius or have moon in Aqua, but you don't have to. You could be born on the 28th of a month, I'm seeing, or you could be 28. But you're being guided to bring love into the situation this week. And I'm getting that people, we need you. Because you bring something different to the table, or you bring something different to this industry. Your skills are unmatched is what I'm hearing. Or your voice is unmatched or something like that. You bring love into the situation, and I feel like people have been trying to bring hate, or people have been trying to bring, like, ego but you're different, okay? I'm hearing you're the one. I'm getting something about Justin Bieber, okay? And DJ Khaled. I'm hearing you're the only one. That song, you're the one, okay? I feel like you're being chosen for something or hand selected for something. You may receive like some kind of like weird DM or weird email this week, okay? Offering you something or asking you to like do something. I don't know. I feel like you either are a celebrity or you're working with the celebrities or you're like on your way to stardom. I know this energy isn't for everybody, but I'm getting that your energy is famous. Your energy is famous. I'm hearing Madison Beer, okay? So you could be a singer. Or like an artist or a musician of some sort. You don't have to be, but I'm getting something about that. Some of you may just be like social media people, like influential online. Whatever it is that you do, you're very influential. And I'm getting that we need you. I'm hearing don't stop, don't stop posting. Yeah. I'm hearing maintain a consistent upload schedule, if that applies. Or maintain consistency in general. And continue to bring love into the situation. Love is not a bad thing. <laughs> Okay, I'm hearing The Cure by Lady Gaga. There's a lot of songs. I'm hearing You Are The Cure. You're the cure to someone's sadness or to a collective, a community sadness here. Aquarius rules community. It's the 11th house of community, friendship, connections, right? Like that, networking. Okay, so there's a big focus on that for you right now. Building your community, building your community up. Okay, inspiring your community, helping your community, bringing love into your community, okay? But I'm getting that, like, you make people's day better. Someone could be, like, so sad and having the worst day, but they see you or they hear you and it, like, turns things around for them. That's why we need you, okay? I'm hearing you could be a Virgo. We're also seeing the Queen of Wands, so you could be an Aries. But that Queen of Wands energy has been popping out, regardless of your gender. It's like, mm, they want you. <laughs> like... It doesn't matter if, if it doesn't matter if you don't want this opportunity. It doesn't matter if you don't want to be in this position. Like spirit wants you there, the universe, the community, they want you there. I'm hearing you are appreciated. What you bring to the table matters. I'm also getting that you have information, you have insight, right? And I'm getting that some of you have foresight as well. So you may also like channel or read for yourself or read for others. You could be a reader. Maybe you're going to be a famous reader, or you are a famous reader. TikTok. Maybe it's a TikTok community. Okay, but I'm getting something about tarot and the TikTok community, if that resonates. But I'm getting something about like how tarot and spirituality has become more mainstream and they're looking to people like us. They're looking to you is what I'm getting. There are people looking to you. I'm hearing something about fake love. I got fake people showing fake love to me, straight up to my face. Yeah, ignore the fakes, ignore the haters. 
okay the haters are your motivators no truly okay truly you're tr you're truly just let it be that just let the haters do what the haters got to do feed on the energy and know that it's only helping boost your engagement it's helping to boost who you are i'm also getting that it makes you stronger it helps you desensitize right because if you are famous you're in this famous energy you can't be everyone's best friend you know sometimes you do got to play devil's advocate sometimes you do got to speak on things you don't want to speak on right another car horn that's a synchronicity for someone okay maybe you're hearing a lot of cars or you live in a really busy area a lot of traffic okay i'm hearing something about like city you could be from the city or moving to a city but just so you know you don't have to <laughs> live in a city you don't have to move to the city to be famous you your energy is famous <laughs> which means you could be famous in an in antarctica seriously there could be a population of 10 people and you could still be famous around the world you hear what i'm saying okay some of you are meant to travel the world you're meant to like go to other countries you may throughout your life be called to certain places you're like i don't know why i'm being called to florida right now or i don't know why i'm being called to california right now i don't know why i'm being called to singapore something like that I'm just making things up, but I'm also, that could be significant for some of you. I'm getting that you are being called to these places to help them heal, to help raise the vibration. Just you being in the place, just you being there raises the vibration. You don't even have to do anything, <laughs> although you will because you're you. But I'm just getting like, you raise the vibration everywhere you go. Your energy is famous. Oh, six of cups. I feel like this is a childhood dream there's something about like a childhood dream manifesting maybe you've always wanted to be a singer maybe you've always wanted to be famous an actor in the public eye an, an influencer a youtuber a creator i don't know apply it to your situation how it fits but definitely bring love into the situation i'm hearing that people feel like they're your friend people feel this friendly presence from you but i just said you can't be everybody's best friend and they know that <laughs> they understand that some people are just so grateful to have your time your energy your response there's something about like you responding to a message or responding to an email and like they had no idea that you would do that they figured you were too busy or they thought that they didn't matter enough to you or something like that but i'm getting that you care about your supporters you care about the people who are like helping you achieve this your family your community your friends you know I'm getting this like support system okay you have a support system in place or you're going to you're the community leader they rally around you is what i'm getting and i'm also getting that you make people's heart you set people's hearts free from the past because you bring love into the situation and i'm getting that maybe you like teach people about love or maybe you like have a really like influential presence surrounding love and independence and loving yourself or something like that if that applies but i'm just getting that some people don't know what love is until they come into contact with you or until they hear you speak about it because i'm getting that some people only know one form of love or they only know a certain kind of love and like if they've never experienced real love or if they've never experienced other forms of love then that's all they know but there's something about you where you have the insight to give them the message or to give them the change that they need so they can see love in the real way okay Whew. all right your energy is famous people could like talk to you for hours someone is people are just so grateful to be around you we have the hermit card here as well i'm getting something about you did this in your past life you were famous in a lifetime before or you were manifesting like fame success status in a lifetime before i'm getting something about like past life right now with the hermit the six of cups here so you may be seeing visions of your past. And I'm getting that some of you have ancient Egyptian history, ancient Egyptian ancestry. You may be really into cats in this lifetime, or you may have a cat. I'm getting something specific about black cats. Black cats are like very connected to the spirit realm. Okay, so you may be getting a black cat, or there may be a black cat that's significant to you. Okay, but I'm getting that in another lifetime you were famous, or you were criticized for your wit, or for what you were saying, okay? I'm getting that you were criticized. People didn't believe you. You may have also kind of dealt with that in this lifetime, where pe where you told people, I'm going to be famous, or I'm going to be this, or something like that, because you know, you have this like childhood dream, you have this inner knowledge of like who you are, of what you're supposed to do. But not everybody is like that. You know what I'm saying? And that could be confusing for you too. I'm getting like black sheep energy, or like the generational curse breaker. You absolutely are. <laughs> Okay, but I'm getting that like in your last lifetime, before this one, 
that people thought you were crazy or that people thought you were like psychotic because of the things that you were saying or because of the messages that you were channeling. But I'm hearing that nothing is too far fetched, not in this lifetime. There's something about in this lifetime, they believe every weird thing you say or they believe everything that pops into your head. So you should too, something like that. Okay, but here's the Hermit. So Virgo energy. I'm getting that there's like a ghost around you too. Not to scare you, but I feel like you already know that there's this presence around you or there's like this spirit guide around you who's like leading you to this fame or like leading you to the spotlight, okay? And they're saying we need you. We need you. Trees could be significant. Our ancestors are connected to the trees. So there may be something about like a special tree for you or something about trees and the ancestors. I'm hearing the ancestors chose you, right? Okay, any more messages? Let's get one more card and I will clarify. Overall, though, your energy is famous. Like, regardless of whether you're going to be, like, famous and have, like, a big platform or, like, a, be a movie star or whatever, your energy is famous. Your energy is influential, which means you hold a lot of power in this world, okay? I have a channel message that I'm going to do a TikTok live on, and then I will repost that live here, and it's something about you are highly ranked in the spirit world, and it's coming out again. So just know that you are highly ranked spiritually, okay? Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting like this wealthy, luxurious lifestyle and money. You're helping people learn about money, and you're helping people see that it's okay to want to have a more luxurious lifestyle. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm getting something about grapes. You may be eating a lot of grapes, okay? I'm also getting that some of you could be like pharaohs or prophets, if that resonates. Just because of the information that you receive, it's like, how? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're an ancient soul or because of this ancient wisdom, okay? But I am getting something about your childhood dream is manifesting. It's like you're all grown up now something about that. I'm getting that something wasn't the right time to manifest or you weren't like fully ready yet, but you were like getting tastes of it. You were get you were on the brink of it. And I'm getting that right now you're like in the thick of it or you're about to be with the Queen of Pentacles here. This is going to be your full-time job, right? Being in the public eye, being a social media person, being famous, it's going to be your full-time gig, right? What do you do for a living? I'm me, <laughs> truly. Maybe that's something you've been manifesting too. You just want to be paid to be yourself. You just want to be paid to live. That's possible. You're doing that. And I'm getting that you're going to be showing other people how to do that too. There's something about what you do or what you're going to be doing where you inspire people to do it for themselves. That's why we need you because you're not in it for yourself. There are parts of this where it's like, yeah, it benefits me, you know, it benefits the self, but that's not why you're doing it. You're doing it because you feel called to do it. You're doing it because it's in your heart. You're doing it because it's your destiny. And you're doing it because you want to help the community. You're making the world a better place. Okay, period. And I'm getting it has nothing to do with money. I'm hearing that um, something about if you love what you do, it'll never feel like work. Which isn't true, 100%. But it is kind of true. Because if you love doing what you're doing... It'll be natural. It'll be easier. You'll have this, like, I want to get up in the morning and do it type vibe. It'll still be work. You're still going to feel like you're working. And for some of you, like, this is going to be one of the hardest jobs you've ever had because of the responsibility that comes with it, because of the people who have access to you, because of, like, the depth of this, you know? But you'll... I'm hearing you fit right in, or you'll fit right in. Okay. I'm getting that some of you may be coming into contact with celebrities, like you just find yourself in the same like restaurant or in the same vicinity, in the same area. You're not going out of your way to pursue them, but like they're coming to you or your energy is just so famous that your vibration is in their vibration too. Okay, so I feel like that's coming for some of you. You're going to see someone or spot a celebrity or like a bunch of celebrities within like a week or two, okay? Or you already are one. I'm getting something about paparazzi. You could be getting paparazzi, or you could be like around someone when they get paparazzi, and that's the universe showing you like lights, camera, action, babe. All right. Five of cups. Clarifying the six of cups. Yeah, I'm just hearing it hasn't been time yet. Don't give up on this goal. Don't give up on this dream. It just hasn't been time yet. But your energy is famous. But if your energy is in the five of cups, no one's going to want to come towards that. You know what I'm saying? If your energy is vibrating at the five of cups, which is like disappointment, sadness, crying over what happened in the past. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you need to reflect and like 
get those energies out and like release but if you're sitting in the five of cups and all you're going to attract is the five of cups you know but i'm getting that you're moving into the six of cups and you're like really listening to your inner child and you're really following what your inner child wants you're going to make your childhood dream a reality i'm getting something about like god or the universe tells us what we're going to be doing as children yeah as children like we already know where we're going to be what we're going to be doing it doesn't matter if anybody believes you okay i'm getting something about like noah's ark nobody believed noah that floods were coming but noah still built the ark anyway and then when the floods came all the animals got on you know what i'm saying so i'm getting build your ark keep building your ark because people will be really grateful when those floods come and they have a place to go okay wow tell me more what's the hermit yeah the page of pentacles a lot more opportunities coming your way a lot more opportunities for you to be seen, for you to get your name out there, for you to start selling things or for you to start making things. I'm getting like, you're going to have like merch or you're going to have sales. You're going to have like this whole brand surrounding yourself. You are the brand. You're the name behind the brand. You are the brand. People are using your name. People know your name. The community knows your name. <laughs> your energy is famous. And I'm getting something about word of mouth. Your name is traveling worldwide. I'm getting something about like Bolivia, Africa. You could live in the United States and you're making an impact like around the world. I'm hearing Germany, okay, Morocco, France, all of those places. You could live there too, but I am picking up something about like some of you are in the US because I feel like it's very US, very Los Angeles type to really care about fame or celebrity status so you could live in the area california la but i'm getting heavy u.s energy okay it doesn't have to be though of course but i'm just getting something about like they know your name or they will know your name your name is traveling because of who you are because of what you're doing it's meant to happen this way but it's starting small so take it slow because i'm getting you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life right some of you are like 25 26 Okay, you could be however old, but I'm getting that like you're doing this for the rest of your life, so take it slow, right? You have time to iron out the details. You have time to really figure it all out. Take it in. Let it come to you as it comes to you because you don't want to like blink and miss it one day. You know what I'm saying? You're not a clout chaser. I'm hearing that. Clout chaser. You're different. We need you because you don't chase clout or something like that because clout... <laughs> It's not even a real word. It was made up. Welcome to the world. You may be making up your own words or making up your own stuff now, too, because you're like, there are no rules. Watch me change the rules because there are no rules. That's really cool. Okay. But clout chasing, clout, this idea of clout chasing, it's like quick, instant gratification, and then it's fleeting. But your fame or your success is long term. That's why people want what you have, or that's why people want to be in your energy because you seem to like make things last you seem to stretch it out and i'm getting it's because you don't care about the clout you don't care about the views you don't care about the fame and when you don't care about it it allows more to come there's something about like that's how manifestations work when you feel like you no longer need it that's when you have it or you feel like you no longer want it that's when it comes into you okay yeah but i'm hearing they know your name I'm hearing God knows your name. The angels know your name. Can I tell you this channel message I got? It's a little petty, but I'm going to tell you it anyway. I was on my phone. I was on the phone with my friend Monique recently. Shout out to Monique. She runs this really great um, necklace company, jewelry company called Ezra Blue. And I always have it in my description box. And I have a code CHAM20, which gets you 20% off. It's this evil eye necklace that I always wear. But she has a bunch of charms. You can get gold or silver and it's stainless steel. You can wear it in the shower. I've been wearing this for like six to eight months. But I was on the phone with her recently and I got this channel message about someone or someone who like is very egocentric or these groups of people who are very egocentric, who care about their Instagram followers, who care about followers in general, and they use it as like a social currency or something like that. These people are going to start showing up to places and getting denied. They're going to start showing up to restaurants. They're going to start showing up to parties. They're going to start showing up places and try to use their Instagram to get in, try to use their name to get in. And people are going to be like, I don't know who you are. You're not on the list. You're not invited, you know, but you are the one who threw the party <laughs> or you're the one who's like the events about 
that's what I'm getting. Like brands are flying you out places in the future or brands are asking you to come to these events, something like that. But these other people who like thought it was all about them or thought that like their followers like were a social currency, they're gonna start getting denied at the door. That's what I'm getting. There's like this reality check for these people and it's like putting their ego in check. Okay, wow. Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. That's kind of what I was getting. I'm hearing that people want to be like you. You inspire people to be like you. People want to know how you're doing it. People want to follow in your footsteps. So keep building that art, right? I'm hearing if you build, they will follow. I'm getting that some of you are a natural born teacher or you're natural born like leaders, right? I'm getting that you have this knowledge. You can teach people. You teach people spiritually some of you you teach people about love you teach people about finance you teach people and i'm getting we need you because you teach people okay i'm getting something about like taking your original ideas or taking like long form content and cutting it up into like little bits and pieces there's something about using shorts using tiktok using the reels using the algorithms if this is online to help build your business don't worry about the views period do not worry about the views at all i don't care if like 10 people watch it and like two people like it keep posting keep being consistent all right i know that's not for everybody some of you you're getting hella views i'm getting the views are up i'm getting enjoy the views because it's nice up here is what i'm getting okay period and i'm getting that some of these people are like trying to help you more your community wants to help you more. Your community wants to give more to you because they want to see you succeed. They want to see you be the bright star that you always have been meant to be. They want to see the real you. And I'm getting that you've been giving like glimpses, tastes, touches, and but like you haven't been able to tap into it yet. Okay, because every day you're getting better. Every day you're ascending. Every day is a new day. Okay. I'm hearing you'll never stop growing. Once this starts, once this picks up speed, it just keeps going. The Knight of Wands does talk about like something picking up speed. Okay, nice. Bottom of the deck energy is the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And I'm hearing that thing again. If you do something you love, you'll never work another day in your life. But you know what I mean by that by now, I'm assuming. You know what I mean. <laughs> but I'm hearing that. If you do what you love, you'll never work another day in your life. So do what you love. Post the things you love. Talk about the things you love pursue this fame and this career if that's your if that's what you want it feels like a childhood dream don't give up on your childhood dreams okay period but i'm getting that you're going to get your shot very soon or this reading is like the initiation into you getting your shot or to you giving it something a shot okay but wow we're pulling soon yeah this eclipse energy is heavy <laughs> heavy i'm filming this right now um november 6th Okay, and we have a full moon lunar eclipse coming up on November 8th. So it feels like something's happening in the next 40 hours, this like shift of energy. Okay, but I'm hearing this is the start. This reading is the initiation. Your energy is famous. And I'm hearing soon they will all know your name. Soon. And then look, every day. Every day. You're going to be doing this for the rest of your life. Every day. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I have for you beautiful people. I hope that this reading resonated, helped you a little bit. I'm sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated. Check out the description box for all information that you may need from me, including my other socials. And I will see you next time.